here all the way to how we roll tonight, but all these Tuesday nights, tight games, Illinois upset, Michigan in Ann Arbor at the buzzer, Michigan Purdue last week, and now the Spartans with a chance to come in here and get a road win. Brandon Dawson has Thornton and Wood and Nix. Smart and play Apple. by Richardson. He jumped on top of him. Here's Appling from the top. Comes to the left. Appling on the deck. In the lane. For the lead. No. Deflected out. Cole's got it. Illinois's got it. Illinois wins. They call the jump ball. I think it was at the buzzer. Bruce Weber and Tom Izzo shake hands. They had a jump ball with a possession arrow that would be Michigan State's if it's after the buzzer. And they're going to come to the monitor to check it, so hang on. Jump ball would be State Arrow. So let's get a look at the replay here to see when the tie-up and the jump ball is called. Deflects out. Austin Thornton chasing with Paul. Paul's got it. And tied up there. I think game over. Game over? I think game over. Yeah. You can say that the tie-up you can say the tie-up came with point four, but the referee didn't call it till game over. There it is, the clock's up there at the top. Again, you've got the contact with the ball and the tie-up. By the way, is Thornton, is Thornton out of bounds when he ties him up? Game over. Game over. Illinois wins. Because on top of it, guys, they couldn't do this in replay, but Thornton was out of bounds when he tied him up. You can't do that because you're out of bounds touching the ball. So Illinois comes up with its second win over a top 10 team here in Champaign. This one less pretty, but it'll look just as important when all is said and done. Brandon Paul, 18 points, nine rebounds, five assists was the difference in the ball game. Illinois wins 42-41 with Samantha Steele and Dan Duck, Mike Jericho. So long, now to Fayetteville, Brad Nessler, Jimmy Dykes.